Okay, Ahmed, so uh, this takes us to the next uh, case. Uh, uh, let me just set the time here. Okay, and uh, go. So you've got this 82 year old uh, uh, male uh, who had this hemiarthroplasty six months ago, came to the ED uh, with this dislocation. Um, he had this dislocation while he was getting out of bed in the middle of the night. How would you proceed? Um, I would go to the ED and before I start examining the patient, I would need to know a little bit more information about uh, the patient. So I want to know the, um, the timing of the surgery and uh, if I have any operative records of the surgery has been done in the, uh, in the same um, hospital, uh, what approach has been used, uh, is there's any uh, previous um, histories of um, dislocation um, uh, or not. Um, then uh, the cognitive um, ability of the patient as well as uh, his EMTS um, score. I would go uh, on then to um, examine the patient, um, to examine the surgical wound, um, to examine the position of, um, of the limb and as well as the neurovascular status of um, the um, limb. So all of, all of that's fine. He's cog he's cognitively okay. Uh, he had this. Uh, he had a hemi because he's uh, because of his age and because he had chronic kidney problems. Uh, but he's not on dialysis. Uh, he's um, uh, neurovascularly intact, and your history is consistent with a dislocation. Uh, the wound's fine. So uh, my emergency treatment will be to um, reduce uh, the hip um, as early as possible. Um, so I'll start talking to the patient about the procedure and uh, consenting him uh, for um, a closed reduction, making him fully aware that in some cases the closed reduction might not be successful and at a later stage you might have to revise the prosthesis. I will then uh, liaise with uh, the anesthetist on call and the theater stuff. Uh, to make them aware about the um, the case, uh, to try to get him to theater as soon as um, uh, possible. Okay. Uh, so you can after all that's now. done uh, in theater, um, I'll I'll, I'll um, reduce um, the hip under um, uh, emergent and fire um, guidance. I will uh, check the stability uh, of the hip after it's been um, reduced and check the uh, vascular um, status of the, um, of the limb uh, and the range of movement in which it is um, stable. Okay, so it was, it was uh, when you checked it, it was um, unstable in uh, adduction with external uh, rotation, uh, about external rotation more than um, uh, 40 degrees, it was starting to come out. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? It was stable in. It in, was uh, unstable. Unstable in adduction with external rotation. Uh, okay, so I won't do any uh, any more as long as the hip is relocated. I won't do anything more uh, at the time being. Maybe just put him in an abduction uh, brace for the time being until I um, have um, options of. Um, management. I would be concerned uh, to have a dislocation uh, at that stage relatively early after his uh, surgery. I'll be inclined to look into the factors which might have uh, 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 might have uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about the infection even though the wound is uh, closed and dry there's some there sometimes might be um, uh, a subtle subclinical um, infection so I'll do uh, infection uh, markers for the patient the ESR uh, the CRP and uh, the interleukin 6 if I can during the hospital um, and then if I'm concerned about the position of the component, uh, then I will do a CT scan to look into, to look in the version of the um, component, because this is one what of the most... Expect, uh, uh, what do you expect the ab diversion to be uh, in this case? Uh, the anti, sorry, what's the, what's the antiversion? What do you expect the antiversion to be if he's dislocating anteriorly? If, uh, I think it's probably more antiverted than it normally be, and this is, uh, the, this is one of the common reasons why it might have uh, dislocated. Okay. 
And so he's been in the ward doing physiotherapy and he dislocated again uh, four days afterwards. What are you thinking of now? So uh, having two dislocations in a relatively short period of time is probably an indication that he, something needs to be done. And that depending right. on the reason of the dislocation, yeah. I will uh, I will address that if it's the, if, I, if if it's too anti-verted, then uh, the procedures would have to be uh, revised after counselling with the patient. Good. So time's up, but 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 yeah, you can carry on. So what? So if you were to revise it for anti-version, what would you have done? So I will correct the version of the uh, of the prosthesis. Um, I'll revise. I'll, I'll do a, a cement in, a cement in cement um, uh, stem. Uh, I might consider the option of um, uh, uh, the considered option of um, dual mobility uh, or um, or a, a larger uh, a larger uh, head. Um, yeah. Um, if there's so. any uh, bony defects or uh, or loosening in the CT scan that I might need to uh, to address uh, during my revision surgery. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think that's that's very good. I think it summed it up. It's a it's a common scenario, and it's again one of these uh, straightforward, easy uh, scenarios which, if you get, uh, you have to uh, run through, and you have to have a very clear uh, vision of what you're doing. Uh, and uh, I think it's one of these scenarios where you can't uh, hesitate. Really. You ha it has to be very clear in your mind. And I think you did that uh, very well from my point of view. Mm.